USC middleweight Marvin Vittori. Marvin, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, we'll take our first question from Gabriel Gonzalez with Cage Side Press. Your line is open. Hey, Marvin, can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome, man. So, uh, Marvin, can you just walk us through all of these changes? I mean, when did they reach out to you to say, hey, can you step up and fight Jack Hermanson? It was Friday night. I was uh, doing a conditioning session with my coach, uh, Chase Chicos, and um, I saw a few missed calls from my manager and a message called me ASAP, and uh, I know something's going on, and it's, it's something important whenever like something like that happens, and I just... Uh, I called him back and he said, uh, there's a great opportunity for you to take and uh, uh, Kevin Holland is out. You can uh, you can jump in and fight uh, number four, uh, Jack Hermanson next week. And I was like, uh, I, I gave it a quick thought to to make him wait. And then I'm like, uh, fuck it, let's do it. I think it's, you know, I, I was I was super happy to to accept it. I was like, first of all, they're, they're uh, you know, bigger opportunity higher ranked guy and and then second of all i was like man i'll take a week away from like because I, I would have been two weeks out and the fact that it took a week off uh of the of my camp was perfect to me because i was already in a very good shape and um i know that week would, would have been just like a week of like keeping keeping myself that way but with the risk of catching things and like making a lot of adjustment to train so I think it would have been like not easy to do, and uh, I was really happy for, for them to take a, a week off, and uh, and so I said absolutely yes. I was wondering because then we find out that Kevin Holland is now going to fight Jacare next yeah. week. I mean, it's a little different. I'm wondering, did they ever talk to you about maybe just trying to move you and Jacare to this Saturday instead of this whole switch up of opponents? <laughs> All right, no worries. Um, my question, obviously, Jack is known for his submission game. So is Jock Array. Um, what are, how are they different, though, specifically? Well, I've got more submission than Jack, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but that being said, uh, they're different because I think, uh, I think that uh, Jack Hermanson maybe goes, uh, I don't know. They plus their submission game is very different. Like I feel like uh, Jacare was more of a Kimura and guillotine guy. Jack Jack also have some kind of guillotine, but uh, I think um, I don't know, man. Like uh, what what it is, I think uh, Jack Hermanson uh, brings a little bit more uh, um, energy to to the fight. Like he's a, it's a, like he's more high energy the way the way he fights. Meanwhile, uh, uh, um, uh, Jacare was a little bit more aware of his uh, energy management throughout the fight, and uh, to be honest, on a sense, I was uh, a little bit more uh, worried about uh, Jacare's uh, round eventually than than Jackermanson. But um, overall, like you know, I, I I train on a daily basis with with, with world level um, jiu-jitsu competitor, and, uh, and Jackermanson doesn't even know what what top level jiu-jitsu competitor are. To be honest, I think. In, on a daily basis, he might have trained, but like, no, def definitely not on a daily basis. So I feel like, I feel like, to be honest, everything that Jack Hermanson does, I do it better. And uh, I'm not going to underestimate him because he's, you know, he's definitely a solid guy. He's number four for a reason, but I don't fear him anywhere. Thank you, Marvin. Good luck. Thank you. We'll go next to Damon Martin with MMAfighting.com. Your line is open. Hey Marvin, uh, so we talked like a week ago about the Jacare fight, and then obviously everything kind of changes in a matter of days. Uh, how crazy has this been? To you know, you were kind of frustrated not getting ranked opponents and guys wanting to fight you, and now you go from Jacare, who's a legit legend, to the number four guy in the division in like a span of a few days. Yeah, man. Like you know, they say it's better to be ready for an opportunity that doesn't come than not be ready for an opportunity that eventually comes you know and uh, i was ready and they gave me a they gave me a call and i gave him an answer and uh that's what it is man like i'm ready and when i'm ready i don't care who's in there and obviously the higher the rank the better and i feel like uh, i'm the best in the world uh, i i definitely belong to 
between the highest uh, ranked guy and guys, and uh, this was just this was just a great opportunity. I don't, you know, like I think I think Kevin Holland should have never been there, but he was, and that's it. I mean, but something went wrong, and I was ready to step in. You know, I was ready. I, I was I was ready either way. I was happy either way. I was I was happy to fight Jacare too. But this is just a step up on on uh, on everything, and uh, let's go, man. Uh, wait, I I know we've spoke about kind of the the front of of the higher ranked guys not wanting to fight you, or just you know whatever the case may be. And and I know you were kind of getting angry about it at one point as well after the the Roberson fight. But how much respect do you have for a guy like Jack Hermanson to accept a fight with you on notice? Uh, you know, he is a ranked opponent, and, and to have that willingness, like, does that make you respect him that much more than he was willing to take this fight? Mm, I respect him, but it's like saying, uh, yeah, I respect somebody to do their job, you know? It's like they're, they're supposed to. I, I just, like, they're just doing their job, and, 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 and you know, being in that situation, it's it's... I would have definitely done the same without even thinking one second because... <clears throat> With with all the camp being done and with all the with all the training, that, that's what I'm saying. Like so many guys, like they're willing to step away a week out. I don't know if they train hard. Like whoever whoever goes through a hard camp, two three months of hard camp, a week out, I I I'd fight a Ganu man. Like I swear, like I'll I'll put my ass there. Like whatever happens happens. But man, all that all those all those crazy training session, all those situation but when when things could go wrong and they actually go right like and you make it all the way to the fight it's it's man like you have to keep going and then whoever you they push you by in front like you have to accept like so i you're definitely respect it but at the same time um um he's just doing his job to be honest you mentioned it with jacare out of the rope there's a bad blood and with Jack Ray, you had nothing but respect. It was just a, it was just a fight, a chance for you yeah, to yeah. to up yourself in this division. Would you say it's kind of the same thing with Jack? I don't think he's had a bad word to say about you. This is just competition. But would you say it's a similar thing here, where it's just a fight for you? This is a chance for you to get in that top five rankings. Yeah, but you know, like uh, it's no. I I feel like uh, with Jack, like uh, I mean, I I got nothing against him, but it's I. It's, it's I don't know how can I explain it, but it's like we we came up together on on a sense like I I, I we fought in the same, the same show a couple of times outside of UFC. I saw him coming up. He saw me coming up. Like <clears throat> it, we're both hungry and I, I yeah I mean like of course like you know I don't have to disrespect him, but it's different. Like with Jacare, I had a little bit more of a I don't know. And and again in the fight, nothing would have changed, but. Like I'll go face to face and talk to him a little bit. Let's see what let's see what he's about, you know. Uh, I know odds don't make fights. At the end of the day, you got to go in there and fight. But you know, when this you were announced favorite, I'm sure you've heard this. People saying, you know, a lot of people picking you to win the fight. Considering, you know, what you've had to do to finally get these ranked opponents and things like this. Like, does it speak to the respect that people show for you and your talent that you know? On uh, short notice, yeah. number four ranked guy in the division, and you're the favorite to win this fight. I mean, I think it's there to see, but I feel like the general public don't know because they just, they, you know, they they love, they love watching numbers. They want, they love like hypes and stuff and this and that. But like, I think it's there to see, you know. But you know, at the end of the day, like you said, I'll oh, make fights, so I'll have to prove it. I'll have to go out there and like raise to the occasion and just. Uh, do my job at 100 percent but yeah man i think like i said i didn't say just because like i really believe everything he does i do better so i i, I feel these guys don't want to lose money and they know it too you know thanks marvin we'll go next to augusto nia's gay with somos mma your line is open hey marvin what's up man Mar both Jack and you have something in common because both of you have talked about how hard it was to get opponents during these uh, 2020. So although you will face in, we, you will be facing each other. Why do you people uh, do you think that that people like you and Jack have so many issues to get fighters who want to fight with you? 
I don't know about Jack. Uh, I know about myself. I uh, I think you know a lot of times it comes down to the um, um, to this uh, the, let's call it like risk reward uh, ratio uh, on on whatever fight you you go into, you know. And I think uh, the the risk was re way higher than the reward. Um, in my case, yeah. Some people see I'm hungry. People see they're you know they're they're not gonna get like a guy that. Oh, like one, two, like a couple fights, uh, he's really ready. One fight is so, so ready and one doesn't even train for it. Like I always put everything into every camp and I always show up 100%. I'm always uh, hung, like hungry to, to, to win and I, I don't think people like that, you know. They, they, I don't like it. I mean, the, the risk is too high. I, I understand and uh, Marvin, did you have to make too many changes on your game plan for this fight against Jack? No, not really, man. They're both orthodox. Uh, they felt a little bit different, but you know, like the way I train, we train to make adjustments. We we also train to make adjustments. Obviously, like good fighter is able to make adjustments, and uh, even in the fight. So you know, it's just they're both orthodox, both mainly grappler actually, and. Uh, Little little changes here and there, but like really, really little. Like the moment I'm ready, I'm ready for anybody. Oh. What do you what do you think will happen if you get the win on Saturday? Where should you appear on the middleweight rankings on on Monday morning or Tuesday morning? Uh, well, you know, I, I'm I'm really focused on Saturday. I don't think about the after too much, but I'm I should definitely be on uh, on the top five. And 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 uh, and every time they talk about title contention. Uh, my name will be mentioned. I'm sure about that. So, so that's 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 where I will be, and um, the rest will play out itself. And do you think that UFC will make you face someone else for the number one contender spot in case you you win, or you should be the next title title challenger? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, that 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 uh, the the me and Stylebender will definitely have to meet again, and that that I think is definitely the fight to make. We had such a close fight first time. Uh, I think I won. He thinks he won. Either way, he has to run. He has to be run back, and uh, that's um, that's fact, and that's and and that and that will happen. So. Um, We'll see if this is gonna happen right away. Great. If I have to put somebody else uh, on my record, that's fine too. You know, I'm 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 a man of my word. Like if 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 this if this situation, like you know, I've been calling out people and and telling them that sometimes we have to fight, even if the fight is not the one that we've been like you know after a while the the fight that we've been wanting forever is not coming up, and I'll do the same. Like if they're if 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 they tell me that I have to be out, like if they make me make me wait forever to get the the title shot or something, I'm definitely gonna get another fight in between. Oh, okay, and I'm talking about that. I want your opinion as a middleweight. What do you think about the possibility of Adesanya going up to the light heavyweight division to challenge Jan Blachowicz? It's bullshit. I think it's it's kind of bullshit. I think it's uh, I think this guy just he just thinks it's too much, you know, like, he just thinks, like, uh, I don't know, he can do whatever he wants. In reality, like, to me, he still didn't prove much. He's, he's like, his last fight, yeah, was good, but it was mainly, like, like, I feel like uh, Costa beat himself, uh, he beat his own self uh, going into that fight. We, the fight before, he barely, uh, he fought on my eyes, was one of the worst title fight ever, and he basically, I think, basically lost against the uh, your Romero, so he didn't really uh, prove much, uh, but you know the media—they're all over him. And um, the main thing, to be honest, I think it's there's not much of a, a great hungry opposition in the top five at the moment. You know, we got Robert Whitaker just coming out of win with uh, with Jared Kanye saying that yeah, he's interested, but really not, and he just he's just uh, worried about um, like he's just looking forward to just enjoy Christmas, which is which is totally understandable. But man, he was like what October, November, like. Yeah, of course. Like you can enjoy, but at the same time, man, you're if you're if you're really about getting the title back, you should be should be hungry for it. And so that I think, like you know, like number one contender is not that hungry anymore. And uh, opposition, like strong real strong real 
hungry opposition is not there and after 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 saturday there will be so so you better you better stay and not and not play around go going around like like heavyweight this and that or should, yeah well not gonna go into that but like or or uh, or or stay and and and, and face me okay Thank you very much and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. We'll go next to Omar Mert with S Sport. Your line is open. Marvin. Yep. Uh, do you think this win, if you win, do you think if you win, this win will be enough for you to rematch with Adesanya or you have to win another one? I just said that, buddy. I just and, said that about it. and if you can't get at a saying, let's say, who is the best matchup for you? Costa or Conenier or Whitaker? I I I like uh, no. I, I think I think Costa is a, is a very good matchup for me. But yeah, it, it, either either of them, it's good. I, I like all of them. Okay, thank you. Good luck on Saturday. We'll go next to Jordan Ellis with Low Kick MMA. Your line is open. Marvin, um, I'm just curious as when Darren Till initially pulled out, was this fight ever an option? Did it ever come up that you might be able to fill in then rather than them go to Kevin Holland, who's outside the rankings? No, right away they didn't. Right away they didn't, no. And in terms of you I and your team? To fight Jacques Ray, so I had a fight. So, so was you dead set on doing that fight when you seen them going outside the rankings to get Kevin Holland? Was you not um, kind of telling your team that you, I would love this opportunity? I was just like, man, how, you know, like people are on Kevin Holland and I'm like, these guys shouldn't be there. But I was like, yeah, well, I really object, you know. Because if Kevin Holland gets ranked that high, it's just, it's, just a, it's, just a, it's just a shit show. Like, why, why would you, you know, I, I kind of laugh, but. I was like, you know, I got to give him that he's active, that he's, he keeps fighting and whatever, man. Like, you know, these times are a little bit weird, but um, it was a little bit funny to me. But I, I, was, not, I was not angry. I was not, like, uh, upset about it because I had a fight. I was happy about fighting Jacare, man. Yeah, and as a guy who's been kind of chomping at the bit to get these big fights for, for quite a while now, what did you make of it when Hamanton's coming out and saying, you know, five ranked guys have turned me down and then he has to go outside the rankings to get a, any anyone to step up and face him? Wait, what? Uh... Um, what what did you make of Hamanton saying um, five ranked middleweights turned him down before Holland had to step up? Uh, I, I don't know about it. I, I haven't read about it. Um... This this shit happens, man. This shit happens all the time. Like it, it happens. I don't I don't know why. Like happens. Like either time. Like nowadays, some people are just like I called them before on a tweet. Uh, they're campers. They're I don't know. They they they, they said they they said their head on one guy that I think they match up perfectly with. I don't know. I don't know how they think. I, I it just it, it really amazes me how how they how they hell how, how the hell they do it. But that's how it is. Like they just. Set themselves of one guy or two guys, and they want that guy until that happens, and then, man, that's why I don't know. I don't know. It happens very often now. And just finally, what does it mean to be representing Italy and in, in this, you know, main events on on Saturday? Uh, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. Uh, I'm the first guy to main event a UFC show for uh, for Italy, and um, and. Uh, I know already that Saturday I'm making history already, you know, so it's awesome. I'm, I want to make it a memorable day. And I know the moment I step into the cage, I'll step with the support of Italy in, in there, you know, and uh, it'll be massive. Well, congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. We'll go next to Rodrigo Tenori with AG Fight. Your line is open. Hey, Marvin, how are you? Good, good, good. Thank you. Marvin, on Twitter, you, you, you challenge fighters like Weidman, Anderson Silva, Jacare, and many refuse to face you. Challenge against Hermanson, the fight you've been waiting for so long? It's massive. It's, 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 uh, it's amazing. I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm soaking it all in. It's, it's massive, man. It's, it's massive. And, and, and I said it, it's, you know, all these years, 12 years of 
tears, sweat, blood. It all comes to opportunities like this, and you bet you better be sure that I'm going to show up on Saturday. So um, I'm ready for war, and I and I expect none of the less. You gave to Adesanya a very tough fight, and both have evolved a lot. And now, what your prediction if you face him again? I think I'll beat him. I think uh, I'll uh, I'll overwhelm him. Like you know, these guys goes in and they they underestimate him somehow, or they get over their head to go in overconfident. Adesanya is solid. You have to press him in the right way, and uh, I'm, I I learned so much. I I, I watched that fight um, uh, not long ago. And I realized that at that time, I didn't know so much compared to what he knew, especially in the stand-up. And I still did so well just by instinct. And now that I see everything that he's doing and, I, and, I, and, and, I've, been, and I've been studying him for a, for a long time now, it's going to be a whole different game. Now, now I feel like even on the stand-up, um, uh, the, like, all in the stand-up, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, at least like... Um, How do you call it? We, we both know the same. We, we you know, I, I know what what he what the things that he's that he's gonna try to do, and uh, I don't know if he's gonna know what I'm trying to do, but I definitely can see whatever he's trying to do. And uh, plus, I have a massive advantage of the grappling, and uh, I think it's uh, it's gonna be a completely different fight. Yes, yes. My last question for you, Marvin. Recently, you said that you want to be the first Italian champion in UFC history. When do you expect to fight for the belt? And after how many fights? Wait, what? Uh, sorry. Recently, you said that you want to be the first Italian champion in UFC history. When do you expect to fight for the middleweight belt? After how many fights? Like I said, my, my focus is on Saturday now, but uh, 2021 is the year, man. 2021 is the year. So either way, Whatever happens, I'll get to the goal. I'll get to be the UFC champion in 2021. Thank you, Marvin. Good luck on Saturday, man. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go next to Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Your line is open. Hey, thanks very much. Uh, Marvin, welcome back. Just a couple of quick ones for you. Um, you talked about it a little earlier. You and Jack came up on the regional scene, and you know you had that rivalry with Robertson. Do you fight better with a with a rivalry, with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder, with some fire under you? I, I like it, but you know, there is fire on this one. There's a chip on my shoulder on this one, and you know, like being the main event is that extra pressure. That, so there, there is, uh, there are, there are like, uh, how do you, how can I say, like there are, there is a lot going on for this fight too. So <clears throat> it's like you know, like. It's not that I that I have to. It's not that I need necessarily, uh, like you know, like that kind of like, I wouldn't call it beef, but like that extra animosity, you know. But I haven't even seen him yet. I want to see him and look at him in the eyes. I, you know, I, I I want to I want to see him, but I haven't even seen him since I've been here. So, uh, but there is definitely a lot going on. So it's not that I necessarily need like that kind of like animosity. All right. And a, a guy you maybe do have a little animosity about that you spoke about as well, Israel Adesanya. Is there a worry from your part that he's going to hold up the division by going to light heavyweight? I'm tired of talking about Israel Adesanya, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just talk about me fighting Joker Manson on Saturday. I'm going to, you know, that, that, that's, the, that, that's the focus right now. All right, man. Fair enough. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marvin. You're all set. Awesome.